What's going on, everyone? Got a barbecue this weekend, and uh, also got uh, our block party here, our first block party we, we ever have. We're, we're going to have one um, this weekend, so uh, I'm going to make some jerk. Uh, make uh, Actually, I got pork and chicken, so we're going to do jerk pork, jerk chicken. Um, going to make a couple batches. Uh, one of them is going to be spicy. Some people might think hot. And then I'm gonna make one that's straight fire. Uh, just gonna go through what I what I got here. Um, obviously, we're starting with limes. Good old lime juice. I'm gonna peel them, of course. Uh, all this stuff's gonna end up in the blender. Scallions, thyme, garlic. A lot more garlic than that, actually. Uh, pimento. Wonderful, wonderful allspice. And uh, these are habaneros. Uh, you can use scotch bonnets as well, doesn't matter. The store I went to didn't have any scotch bonnets, so I, I, I bought hats. Um, also, got some whole nutmeg we're going to grind up. Uh, I usually use brown sugar. Uh, like usual, I didn't check and see, and I didn't have any at home, so uh, I'm going to use molasses and uh, some cane sugar. Doesn't matter. Anything is sweet. I've used pancake syrup before. Pineapples. It don't matter. It just needs to be sweet. Soy sauce, of course. And uh, the vinegar is mainly to wash the meat, to clean the meat off. I might put a little bit in it. Um, I don't measure things. I just throw things in the blender. I blend it up. Depending on how it tastes, I add more of this, more of that. So uh, that's what's going on. Okay, so this is what we got. That's my, uh, that's the, the regular one. It's still hot. This one right here, I didn't make much of it because ain't too many people going to eat this. I just tasted something, boy. Whew. Everything in my mouth is numb. Just this little half of uh, a blender got like, uh, Four ha habaneros in it. Whew. So it got some heat. Good for your metabolism. Pretty simple here. Then, then what I do is I just uh, I'm gonna wash the, the pork and chicken off in, in vinegar, and then I'm gonna put put uh, the marinade in with the chicken and, and the pork, and leave it sit for two days in the fridge. Then we're gonna grill it. Okay, so at this point I uh, washed all the uh, the pork and the chicken. Um, spoon some of this goodness right here in there. As you can see, this stuff is pretty thick. It, it's a sauce, but it's like a rub too, you know. Um. Anyway, this is everything right here. Well, that's not everything because the, the hot stuff, I, I didn't even put that together yet. But um, this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover this up, put it in the fridge, let it uh, let it marinate for two days. Those yummy pork tenderloins. I can't wait for that. And then uh, on Saturday, we just throw it over charcoal. Let the wood get into it and uh, just eat. <laughs> ta ta alright so I'm going to grill this stuff now and uh, step one real wood not those bogus charcoal uh, cubes that you get real wood 